Today, I have all three mythics in Toilet Tower Defense. The upgraded Titan Speaker Man, the upgraded Titan Camera Man, and Titan Cinema Man. So we're gonna find out which one is the best. How we're gonna do this is equip the ninja cameraman, a scientist cameraman, and one of the mythics. Because these are the two most basic units you can have. A unit for getting money and a unit for fighting off toilets that spawn in the beginning. So if we have both of these, all that's left is a unit for the middle or end of the game. The mythics are all different prices to place and upgrade. So by doing this, we'll figure out which one is the most useful and efficient for the price. So let's head straight to Toilet HQ and start. So like I normally do, we're gonna start out with two Two scientist cameramen just so we can get as much money as possible as fast as possible and I'm turning auto skip on because we need to get to wave two as quick as I can so we can put the ninja cameraman like right here all right the wave has been skipped and the ninja cameraman has been placed auto skip is gonna stay on until I can get another 200 because we need to get the ninja cameraman upgraded well I skipped to get 200 more so I could put two more scientist cameramen but now we get 300 per round and should be able to upgrade the ninja cameraman a lot I know it's pretty risky but we're gonna skip to wave Four. Actually, I'm just kidding. I think way too many small toilets will spawn if we do that. So we're just gonna hope that the small toilets reach the ninja cameraman first and we can upgrade him a little bit. This may not have been the best idea as a toilet and a small toilet got passed, but we have a lot more money starting out now. And every time I skip, I'll get 300 instead of just 100 if we didn't play as a scientist. Kind of skipped again to wave five to upgrade the ninja cameraman. Again, I'm a little worried about all those small toilets though, but I hope we'll be fine. I upgraded him again, so he's attacking a little faster, but still not fast enough. It's okay though, we're sacrificing a little bit of Toilet City's health in the beginning to save more money. And I'm about to get this ninja cameraman maxed out actually, so I think we're gonna be fine. I'm gonna have to skip, I wanna get the boss toilet, guaranteed, so now we're totally gonna get him. Then we'll place another ninja cameraman right here. Just gotta get through the beginning, this is the only round I'm gonna show the very beginning because like I don't really need to show the same strategy three times. But we're just saving up for that titan right now. Second ninja cameraman maxed out, I'd say we're totally good for the buzzsaw toilet wave. So now I'm just going to focus on upgrading the scientists a few times. And then we'll start on the upgraded Titan Speaker Man to see how good this works with the strategy. All right, on wave 10, I got them all to level 2. We're just going to stop there because if we upgrade them again... Oh, wait, yeah, this is the Buzzsaw Toilet Wave. I'm a little worried because the Buzzsaw Toilet does stop to attack one of the scientists. And then we can just continue attacking it and then it starts going past. But we actually have a second max out Ninja Cameraman right here. So there is no way the Buzzsaw Toilet is surviving this one. Yeah, we got it. Actually, it would be worth it to upgrade the scientist Cameraman just a little bit more, just a little bit, and then we're gonna start on the upgraded Titan Speaker Man. Upgraded Titan Speaker Man going in the back. I'm just worried about that UFO toilet round. Like, we gotta prepare as much as possible because I don't remember what round that is, but that's gonna have a lot of health and not be good for us. While the Ninja Cameraman is killing the spider toilets, I would like to let you guys know that trading is going pretty good, and it seems like we're gonna be able to add it next update. It took me like six hours to try making the best menu I possibly could for that, but anyways, got the 2000 upgrade. I think we can definitely handle the UFO toilet right now. We just gotta see if we can beat all the boss toilets, though. Next upgrade is 4,000, so we're not getting it that soon, but the AoE attack is helping a little bit. Yeah, we're fine. Literally only one left now, and we got it. A little risky, but I upgraded all scientists to level 3, so now we're just gonna save for the 4,000 upgrade. Uh-oh, this is the wave with a ton of buzzsaw toilets. After we get the first one, I can get the 4,000 upgrade, though, and there we go. And this guy blocks the first two stuns, so that is really good. And we got everything. That was actually not bad at all. Finally, there's the final upgrade for the upgraded Titan Speaker Man, right as the UFO toilet spawns, by the way. Last time we got the UFO toilet, I thought we were fine, but then the two UFO toilet round really just destroyed everything. So I'm gonna try getting a second upgraded Titan Speaker Man before we upgrade the scientists anymore. If you think about it, it's 100 more to upgrade, so like it's gonna cost a lot more. Like, it's gonna be 10 waves before we make the money back from upgrading it, which just doesn't really seem worth it because the two UFO toilet wave is within the next 10 waves. Then we can upgrade the upgraded Titan speaker man and we almost have 4,000 to get the next upgrade. Oh, this is the two UFO toilet round. Can the two upgraded Titan speaker and a ninja cameraman handle this one? I don't know. I am actually pretty worried right now because the first UFO toilet isn't even gone and they're gonna stun these guys badly. Alright, these guys are immune to like stuns a little bit so we, I think we're fine actually. We're still chilling. Okay, we got the second UFO toilet. That was actually not bad at all. Easy 6,000 upgrade. Now we're gonna work on a third one for the three UFO toilets wave. The five rocket toilets is looking a little concerning. I mean, they're getting pretty far, but it's not that bad. Still going crazy on wave 30. It's just that the upgraded Titan speaker men don't do that much DPS. Wave 34 is one of the hardest waves in the game. And let's see if we can actually beat it because
because everything is just getting stunned. That's because we have flamethrower toilets, rocket launcher toilets, like pretty much everything you can imagine on this map that is not good for surviving. But it looks like we might actually get through it. The flying rocket launcher toilets are already gone. After you get more things, it just becomes easier and easier. So we're on the dual rocket launcher toilet. Still has a lot of health though. That's not great. And the flamethrower toilet goes crazy when anything gets near it. Oh, I don't know if we're going to be able to do enough damage to the flamethrower toilet though, to be honest. Oh wait, no, these guys can hit him around this whole track. That's actually good. We got it, but it got really far, kind of. Turret spiders keep just shooting until something gets stunned, so even the speaker men can't really stop it that well. This one you really need AoE on, because all the vacuum toilets provide a barrier for all the weird things in the back that stun pretty much everything, so if you can't get the vacuum toilets fast, then it ends very badly. As you can see, everything is getting stunned, but all the vacuum toilets are somewhat low from the speaker men's AoE attack. Yep, this is the wave that usually ends badly. Most of the things are getting pretty far because they have rockets they can also stun from far. Oh no, this is not looking great. Everything is launching rockets and things are getting stunned more and more. Oh wow, we actually clutched wave 37 right before they got around this turn. Okay, that's pretty good. On wave 46 and things are going a lot better than expected. We currently have 10 out of the 15 max upgraded Titan Seeker in we can have down. Wave 49 with the glitch toilet and I just saw a weird part Crawl from the sky. I'm still not sure what that is. I saw it last video, but it disappeared again, so it doesn't seem like too much of a problem. The glitch toilet is having a lot of fun with these guys because he has to attack them multiple times to actually stun them. So we just passed by wave 49 like it was literally nothing, and then I have scientist cameraman down still. So this is literally the final wave. I'm just gonna sell all four of them, and hopefully I can place another upgraded Titan speaker man in the back. So with this strategy, we were only able to get 12 upgraded Titan speaker men, so we could get three more, but I just wasn't really able to upgrade scientists without risking us losing. Here's the final boss with 800k health left. Toxic school toilet is about to go in and stun literally everything. But we just got the final boss, so we're fine. We basically won this. Out of all the mythics, I'm rating the upgraded Titan Speaker Man an 8 out of 10, because, like, we won, and it did pretty good. Nothing really got too far, except for a couple of rounds around the middle part. Now it's time to see how good the upgraded Titan Cameraman is. Now I'm going to do a cool transition to when we get the first one down. Oh, there's the first upgraded Titan Cameraman. Anyways, I got all scientists cameramen to level 3 first, so that we get a lot of money. And upgraded him once. Uh-oh, we're not getting enough money. I'm going to have have to upgrade this guy. Okay, well, we actually got all the boss toilets, but they got much farther than last time. This isn't going great because the upgraded Titan Cameraman has a hard time with avoiding stuns. We didn't even get him high enough level yet to avoid one stun, so just gotta hope he can get the boss toilet and he doesn't get stunned for way too long. And he got stunned by the dual blade toilet. Okay, well, there's the 4,000 upgrade. Now he finally has the shield and can absorb one stun. Let's see how we can do on the UFO toilet round. In my opinion, it's going pretty good so far. It's already at almost like half actually less than half we're definitely gonna get it but he's probably gonna stun or wait no he can block one stun and it went invisible anyways he didn't even have to use the shield uh oh a lot of buzz saw toilets are getting passed because the upgraded titan cameraman just got stunned okay he got unstunned like at the perfect time that's good i mean that might not be good enough though because there there's one that's getting uh oh he's getting like completely passed i can only upgrade him once and then he gets the aoe thing oh yeah that's gonna be a buzzsaw toilet straight to toilet city all right we're at 150 health. Ooh, this isn't going too well with the strategy. I'm not gonna lie, Upgrade Titan Cameraman is a lot better for if you have multiple people or are putting more units down than just like scientists, a couple ninja cameramen, and the Upgrade Titan Cameraman. Because, like, if we had a medic or something, this would be going a lot better. But the rocket launcher toilets keep just shooting rockets at him and stunning him, and he can only block once. You know, at least the rockets don't last for too long. We got both UFO toilets, and it looks like we're gonna make it through this round. Finally, Max the upgraded Titan Cameraman out, so it actually is going pretty well, because he can slow down things when they get within his range, so even if they stun him, he ends up making them go slower anyways. Oh, wave 30 is not going great. This is not going great at all. Oh yeah, the rocket toilets are like right at the end there. It's just everything keeps getting stunned. If we had like a medic cameraman or the camera repair drone or anything, this would be much different, but yeah, we lost that wave 31. Just for that, the efficiency 
I've upgraded Titan Cameraman on his own, I'd say like a 6 out of 10. Like the upgraded Titan Speaker Man is more efficient, but if you have a better strategy with better beginning units, like maybe if you have the Engineer Cameraman or you used another unit along with the upgraded Titan Cameraman, it could be a lot more useful because at the end of the match, completely maxed out, he does a lot more DPS than the upgraded Titan Speaker Man. So it just depends how you use him, but for this purpose, upgraded Titan Speaker Man wins. So finally, let's try Titan Cinema Man. This is the most expensive unit, so I'm not really expecting too much based on how hard it is going to be to get one and especially max it out, considering that the DPS isn't high, it just does damage to a lot of units at the same time. So if something with really high health, like the dual buzzsaw toilet or the giant dual blade toilet comes through, that's not going to end well for us. On wave 13, I got the first Titan Cinema Man and upgraded him once. You have to get him to level 3 for AoE damage though. I don't know how good he's going to do on the boss toilets because the other units by now can be upgraded to like level 2 or 3. This is just a really expensive unit to upgrade. Probably best for late game. Oh yeah, this isn't looking too good so far. I'm going to skip so we can hopefully get a little bit more money, but we just have one ninja cameraman working on getting three boss toilets. So, I mean, we can probably put another ninja cameraman right here and upgrade it a little bit, but that's going to make it take longer to get the Titan Cinema Man maxed out. All right, two maxed out ninja cameramen versus this boss toilet. Let's see if we can clutch and there we go, right at the end. Also keep in mind the Titan Cinema Man doesn't have any protection against stuns, so this is probably the best to have a medic or something with. Boss Toilet 2.0 is getting kind of far with 35k health. Can we get him before he stuns these? Oh, no, I don't think we can. This is just turning into putting a whole bunch of ninja cameramen, but looks like we're gonna have to do it again. Ah, uh, we're on wave 20 and it looks like the UFO Toilet is right here at the end. Yeah, this strategy isn't really working too well. We lost on wave 20, so I'd have to give the Titan Cinema Man like a 4 out of 10, even though I'd say it's the best unit. Let me explain. It's pretty much just good for the end. Like, it's not really a versatile unit. You can't really use it mid-game or in the beginning of the game, like, at all because of how expensive it is. So, at the very end, if you have a decent team of, like, I guess maybe one or two other people that can take care of everything else, and you can just farm the whole time, if at the end you can place a ton of Titan Cinema men, then they're really overpowered. But for being solo and not really having anything to help with stuns or anything else like that, it is kind of hard to use it, even though it can end up doing hundreds of thousands of damage per second when fully upgraded, because in the beginning, it just doesn't really do enough damage to stop things with insane amounts of health, like the UFO toilet. Anyways, like always, subscribe with the notifications on, like the video, but thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.